Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support of the Truth in Settlements Act. This bipartisan legislation, which I introduced earlier today with my colleague from Oklahoma, Dr. Coburn, will help the public hold federal agencies accountable for the settlements they make with corporate wrongdoers. I'm honored to partner with Dr. Coburn on this bill. In his decade in the Senate, he has been a leader in the fight for greater government transparency. Dr. Coburn and I do not agree on every issue, but we strongly agree that sunlight is a critical component of good government. When companies break the law, Federal enforcement agencies are responsible for holding them accountable. In nearly every instance, agencies choose to resolve cases through settlements rather than going to a public trial. The government agencies defend this practice by arguing that their eagerness to settle is in the best interests of the American people. But their actions paint a very different picture. If agencies were truly confident that these settlements were good deals for the public, they would be enthusiastic about publicly disclosing all of the key details of those agreements. Hang it right out there so everyone can see what a great job they did on behalf of the American people. So is that what they do? No. Instead, time after time, agencies do the opposite hiding critical details about their settlements in the fine print, or worse, hiding those details entirely out of public view. Copies of these agreements, or even the basic facts about the agreements, are not easily accessible online. Many agencies regularly deem agreements confidential without any public explanation. When agencies do make public statements about these agreements, they often trumpet large dollar amounts of money for the taxpayers. What they don't trumpet is that the companies often pay dramatically less than this sticker price through credits for engaging in routine activities or through potentially huge tax deductions. These hidden details can make all the difference. When you dig below the, settlement, uh, below the surface, settlements that seem tough and fair can end up looking like sweetheart deals. Several years ago, the Justice Department announced a $385 million settlement with Fresenius Medical Care for allegedly defrauding Medicare and other health programs for years. When the agreement was originally announced, the Justice Department touted the sticker price as the agency's largest civil recovery to date in a health care fraud case. But the DOJ didn't say a word about the tax treatment. The agency's failure to even consider that issue was a very costly mistake. By the time the company finished claiming all of its tax deductions from the settlement, it ended up paying $100 million less than originally advertised. In other words, the taxpayers picked up more than a quarter of the tab. So just last year, Wells Fargo agreed to pay the Federal Housing Finance Agency $335 million for allegedly fraudulent sales of mortgage-backed securities to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. That's about 6% of what J.P. Morgan paid in a public settlement with FHFA to address very similar claims. So in what ways did the actions of Wells Fargo differ from those of J.P. Morgan? Well, we'll never know, because the J.P. Morgan settlement is public, but the much smaller Wells Fargo settlement is confidential. The American people deserve better. Government enforcement agencies work for us, not for the companies they regulate. Agencies should not be able to cut bad deals and then hide behind embarrassing and hide their embarrassing details. The public deserves to know what's going on. The Truth in Settlements Act requires transparency. It requires agencies making public statements about their settlements to include explanations of how companies get credits and whether the wrongdoers will be eligible for tax breaks for their settlement payments. 
The bill also requires agencies to post text and basic information about their settlements online. And while the legislation permits confidential settlements, it requires agencies to disclose how frequently they are invoking confidentiality and to explain their reasons for doing so. If we expect government agencies to hold companies accountable for breaking the law, then we, the public, must be able to hold agencies accountable for enforcing the law. We can't do that if we're kept in the dark. The Truth in Settlements Act shines a light on these agencies' decisions, and it gives the American people a chance to hold agencies accountable for fairly and effectively enforcing our laws. I urge my colleagues to join us in supporting this bill. Thank you, Mr. President.